This is Francesca Ramsey. She is the host of Decoded on MTV News. On January 27, 2016, she attempted to counter the argument that political correctness is anti-free speech, or is destroying free speech. It seems a lot of people think freedom of speech is under attack, and who might I ask is to blame? The god PC culture! Is PC culture destroying freedom of speech? Nope. She then proceeds to, rather accurately, explain what PC culture actually is. PC is, of course, short for politically correct. Political correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Basically, treating people with respect. And when you put it that way, who could object? Well, let's try not to lose the plot here. The question being begged isn't whether or not we should treat people with respect. The question being begged is whether or not political correctness is detrimental to the notion of free expression. And while Ramsey is confident that it is not, she also affirms that it entails avoiding words or behaviors. Political correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Is PC culture destroying freedom of speech? Nope. Political correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. If somebody wants to advocate avoiding words and behaviors on the basis of not insulting anyone, okay, if that's their argument, that's their prerogative. But to advocate such a thing requires a compromise of free expression. As attractive as both of these concepts are, they are also mutually exclusive, and hence they need to be prioritized. If you don't believe in tolerating insulting forms of expression, then you're you're not an advocate for free expression, even if your reasons for doing so are altruistic. So if the goal of political correctness is to expunge the use of certain words and behaviors, a so-called politically correct culture would consequently be anti-free speech. However, according to Ramsey, not only is this not the case, the exact opposite is. Political correctness is expanding free speech. We're adding words to the dictionary every year in an effort to promote more inclusive and respectful speech. First of all, the very notion that freedom of speech can be expanded is a little odd. Freedom of speech is a principle that all words should be at our disposal. So the idea that engineering more words gives us more speech is about as tenable as the idea that buying more shoes gives you more walk. That's not how it works. But to get to the point, note the reason why these new words are being added to the dictionary. As Ramsey mentioned, it's an effort to promote certain types of speech. Now, once again, it doesn't make any difference if the intentions are good. If language is altered in an effort to encourage slash discourage certain thoughts and ideas, the concept of free speech is not being championed. Quite the contrary, it's being undermined. Look, if somebody wants to advocate political correctness, that's fine. That's why we have debates. But if they haven't reconciled with what their own cause constitutes, that's not very encouraging. These are the types of people that keep a good debate from being had. Correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Basically, treating people with respect. Basically, you gotta go around bull people. You gotta go around tucking in your true feelings about things because if you even challenge certain issues or question certain things, people are ready to call you a racist or a bigot or misogynistic. Now, if you ask me, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. Shut the up forever. You're full of.